Yo, what's poppin' peeps? Your boy T-Money up in the heezy. Happy Thursday. Here to do a quick little unboxing slash collection update for you guys. I've got a couple packages that came in the mail today. Uh, one from Jesse at Diabolic and one from somebody that I don't know. Um, not sure what's in this package, but clearly it's something I ordered. Uh, and then I got a movie that I've already opened from Amazon. And then I just wanted to share with you guys so nobody else makes the same mistake that I did. Uh, a little bit of a frustration. Um, I had ordered a couple movies from Kino Lorber. Uh, come to find out, one of them I already owned, so I contacted them. I've done this before to try and swap it for something else. They didn't get back to me. They shipped the order out after I sent the email, I'm sure, and they didn't, um, they didn't fulfill my request. So I got stuck with that. That was scavenger hunt. And then this, I'm pissed off because I wanted, I was under the impression that Kino Lorber was carrying the new Grizzly Blu-ray that was, uh, had, that had the, um, update to the transfer, you know, it's supposed to be a nicer quality transfer that Scorpion just released, but they sent me this, which is this, the old transfer, uh, the one where it says here it's not up to, uh, usual, their usual standards for a Blu-ray release, so, uh, a little pissed off about that, I guess I'm gonna have to ship this one back and order it from Amazon, because after I did a little research, I found out that the newly issued, um, Scorpion release of Grizzly actually comes in a clear case, so that's how I know the difference, it's the only way I could tell. Um, so it's kind of lame that Kino, st Kino is still selling the uh, outdated edition for, you know, the same price essentially. Well, it's a little bit more for the newer one I found out on Amazon at least. But So that fucking sucked. Um, I'm going to have to mail that back probably because I already own that. And the point was to get the newly uh, remastered edition. So we'll see. I'll get that down the line. I've actually got it ordered now. But I have to mail that back because I don't want to lose money on that one. Um, and then next up I ordered a movie from... Amazon by the name of Lost Creek. Honestly, it was a total uh, blind buy based on how cool the cover artwork was, not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, it's an independent film, I guess, about a bunch of kids that summon this demon from their nightmares or something like that out in the woods, and they basically have to escape from it and survive. Um, so, you know, sounds pretty traditional, but it sounds fun. Uh, on the back it says, after moving to a new town, 11-year-old Peter and his friend Bill must team up with mysterious new girl Maggie and brave the woods on Halloween to face a monster born from their nightmares. So, it sounds fun from 2016, released in 2018. Uh, and it looks like it was a contender for the Pittsburgh Independent Film Festival. So, yeah, I don't know, I'm stoked for this one, but... Uh we'll see. Uh, I haven't really heard anything about it other than uh, it was on the horror blog spot for... Uh, new release for this Tuesday. So that is Lost Creek. Um, all right, sorry guys, my sinuses are. I feel like I ate a bowl of ice cream too fast. All right, so let's get into this mystery package first. I was gonna open it, but I decided I'd just to hell with it, do it on camera. And it is from eBay, I know that much because it says eBay right there. Oh, awesome. Really, really cool. So this is the new release of Lady and the Tramp. Now, I love Lady and the Tramp. Yes, it's a kid's movie. It's a Disney movie. A lot of people collect Disney, actually, on these YouTube channels. Not me so much, but I do have a tendency of buying childhood classics, wanting to like kind of recollect them the last few years in particular. And Lady and the Tramp was one that I just grew absolutely grew up with. Watched it all the time as a kid, and I hadn't seen it. I bought the Diamond Edition on Blu-ray like three, four years ago, and I never got around to watching it, and now I figured I would just upgrade to this brand new release from Disney, the multi-screen edition, I don't know if it's a platinum edition or what, but packaged very well here, guys, so bear with me for one second while I tear into this, but yeah, it's a great movie, and... You know, it's times like these, I wish I had a wife and kids so I could sit down and watch this with a fan, maybe like a, a Saturday, Sunday night movie, but nope, it's just me, so um, we'll see if I ever do get around. I love this movie as a kid, though. Lady and the Tramp is classic. Three ways to watch, plus all new extras. Um, new sing-along version, uh, you know, it's just a total classic. I love this movie so much, though. Um... So, yeah, uh, I ordered it. I got it pretty pretty good price on eBay. Pre-ordered it from somebody. 
uh, regular seller. I'm trying to see what edition it is. It says the Signature Collection. Um, let's see, guys. Anybody collect uh, Disney Digital Codes? I'll give you one for free. Lady and the Tramp. There you go. First come, first serve on that guy. So... So yeah, stoked to revisit this one. All I remember, well, I remember a lot about it, but I just, I, of all like the Disney classics, this was definitely, like this movie, Brave Little Toaster, which I don't think is a Disney film, they were like the two, The Land Before Time, 101 Dalmatians, Fox and the Hound, those were all movies that I watched a shit ton growing up, so. Gotta, gotta, gotta relive my childhood as much as possible these days, so. Awesome. Lady and the Tramp. Now let's get into this sexy package from my friends over at Diabolic DVD. There should be a few items in here. Haha. <laughs> Packaged in a Goodwill bag. Nice. All right, so we've got multiple items here. Oh yeah, sexy update. Sexiness, sexiness, sexiness. Okay, so I bought a couple movies. Well, let's see, just trying to organize things here. Um, a couple doubles I bought for another giveaway. Um, so I'll show you those first. So I did purchase another copy of um, Arrow's new edition of Basket Case. And another pin, so for my next giveaway, maybe we'll do one of these. And then I also grabbed Eaten Alive again. I wanted to get another special edition of this guy here. Because it's a, they're both beautiful releases. So I've already showed these in previous updates, so we don't need to go into those. But really nice. Um, and now, for the update, we have a movie that I'm really excited to check out. I've never seen it before. Uh, from AGFA, The Soul Tangler. It only comes in um, DVD, unfortunately. But I'll read you guys the synopsis here. If Reanimator was shot on Long Island for the price of a used car, the Soul Tangler would be the result. Insane genius Dr. Anton Lepowski has developed a drug that allows users to inhibit corpses, inhabit corpses, and transform into rabid maniacs. Can reporter Kim Castle stop the carnage and save our species from annihilation? This epic of outsider filmmaking is a dreamlike wasteland that punctuated with severed heads, evil beasties, and hooded slashers. Bats, puncture, sorry. Uh, filmed in basements and garages, directed by Pat Bishaw's earnest devotion to storytelling in the spirit of H.P. Lovecraft, elevates the soul tangler beyond kitsch and into heavenly territory. So, really cool. Stoked for this one. Love my cheesy gore fests. Anything that's like, anything, I, when I read this was like, uh, compared to Reanimator, I was sold. And the name, the Soul Tangler, and the cover artwork, fucking sold. So, yeah, I'm going to probably pop that in tonight. Uh, next up, we have uh, Western that I'm really excited to check out. My pops will probably dig this one, too. A Fistful of Dynamite. A new one from Kino Lorber, 1971. Sergio Leone. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into details on this one. Well, why not? Well, no. For time's sake, I won't. But um, also, let's see. So yeah, you guys know Sergio Leone. He, di Leone, he directed Fistful of Dollars, uh, The Good, the Bad, the Ugly, Once Upon a Time in the West. I mean, classic Western director. So, uh, a Fistful of Dynamite, aka Duck You Sucker. Actually, I think I do have this movie on Blu-ray. I gave it to my dad a while back under the title Duck You Sucker. Uh, Toddy Walnuts, I think, gave it to me in a trade. So, but uh, when Kino, when I think Kino Lorber, one of the things they do best is reissue these Western classics, like The Good, Bad, and the Ugly. When they when they give it the treatment, the Western treatment on game. So, uh, yeah, I totally dig that cover artwork, too. And I'll show you the reversible cover artwork, because I believe there is some reversible on this title. Yep. Uh, it's so, yeah, it's but it's still the same title, Fistful of Dynamite. I love their artwork, too, for their Western features, totally. Uh, that's a tough call, too. I, like, I dig them both. But, um, hmm. Probably stick with that one for now. It's a little more colorful. They're both really nice, though. God, these Kino Lorber Blu-rays, you think they're, like, 
heavy duty, but it's because the booklets are included in them. But yeah, so awesome release from Kino. Really excited to check that out, that transfer. And then we have... Uh, one that was sold out, uh, one that I'm also really interested in checking out that I haven't seen before, Blue Collar. It's a new one from um, Indicator, Powerhouse Films. Uh, limited edition Blu-ray, 3,000 copies, uh, high definition remaster of the film, audio commentary, tons of special features. Um, the one thing I don't like about <clears throat> Indicator Films is that they don't include a synopsis for me to read you guys on the back. So, but um, some cool cover artwork. I love, and I love the, uh, well, I mean, what am I saying? I love how they give you the option to reverse the cover without the uh, ratings logo. Always swap that around, for sure. That's like a, a first day one, right when I get it, the first thing I do. But this is a heavy-duty edition, too. You've got a booklet in here that is probably like 60 pages. I mean, this thing is chocked full. It is, no, it's 40 pages, but it's just a nice, glossy print material all about the film though blue collar the crew the cast just discussions about the film so i'm really uh curious to check this one out who does this star richard pryor harvey keitel yaffe koto awesome star awesome cast you really can't go wrong so yeah i love what this company's doing they're putting out some high quality stuff so that's blue collar this was sold out on diabolic's website uh for a little bit there but i've been i love how they give you the notification lately so if something's sold out on diabolic you can hit the bell and then they'll shoot you an email when it comes back in stock so it's really helpful because a lot of that stuff sells out fast indicators kind of hard to obtain too so some of their stuff so guys uh, next up we have what to show you first um let's go with let's go with this one i love this movie a lot uh, um it's i've talked about it a lot on my channel i think i did a review short review for it on body bags um it's just amazing when i saw there was a blu-ray of this out i snagged it day one uh initially when it came out it was released on dvd only and um it's just a really good study i mean portrayal of like a, a kid who has severe like psychological issues and he looks into this mirror and he sees this alter ego reflection who is michael berryman uh, the like the psychopath side of him telling them telling him to kill. It's just a really good fucked up movie, and you can really feel the director's like grief. I guess it shines through the the direct the direction of the film. And actually, the director was a I guess a drug addict, and he died. I don't know if he OD'd or if he committed suicide shortly. I think he OD'd shortly after this film was made. And also, it was made years ago, but it came out in 2007 or 2016. I think was the DVD release. But the film, I think, is from, I'm trying to see if it says it here. I don't see it, but I think it's from, like, the early 2000s, at least. Um, what the hell is that, dude? Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, really excited. I'll read you guys the synopsis of this, too. Following a tragic accident as a young boy, Dennis, played by an excellent uh, performance by Frederick Kohler, is a mentally, I've never heard of him before, is a mentally challenged teenager living with his older brother, John. While John struggles to balance, oh, and John is played by Sh Sean Patrick Flannery as well. Uh, while John struggles to balance looking after his backward brother, his impatient girlfriend wants Dennis out of their way and placed in an, in an institution. But when Dennis befriends his alter ego into an eek, I'm sorry, into an antique mirror, the reflection played by Michael Berryman encourages Dennis to fix his retarded brain by gaining notoriety and respect for being a serial killer. One day, Dennis begins his task of killing those around him and preserving their cadavers in the family basement. Fifteen years in the making, Andrew Getty, the grandson of oil billionaire J. Paul Getty, makes his directorial debut with The Evil Within. Every single frame was painstakingly analyzed by, Get by Getty, but almost failed to see the light of day following Getty's tragic death in 2015 after a life of addiction and controversy. The resulting film is a widow, Andrew Getty's darkest nightmares that witness the disturbing psychological world that is the evil within. So, a lot of pain and devotion put into this release. Um, so, it's a really good film. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Support this release, uh, although it is Region B. So, grab the DVD if you haven't seen it. I think I sold a copy of my DVD to somebody on, um, was it Scuba Steve maybe? Uh, I can't remember who it was on, on the YouTube channel. 
I mean, on the Facebook cult media group. But anyway, I highly recommend this movie. The ending is very tripped out, too. It's, like, very... It's not psychedelic, but kind of. It's very trippy. Like, uh, it's a climax that you you won't forget. So, um, I highly recommend it. The Evil Within. And last up, guys, we have a new release from Scorpion. Uh, I'm still waiting for The Church to come out. It was The Sack, The Church, and one other film. Um... Uh, um, yeah, I can't remember the name, but three uh, three Italian films by Michel Suave, I think, uh, to be released. So they didn't come out at the same time. But um, anyway, yeah, the set. I actually grabbed the um, Shameless Entertainment Blu-ray of this, and I watched it for the first time because the set was the one Michel Suave film that I had not seen. Uh, it's probably my least favorite film by him, if I'm being honest, but I still enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, and unique, so yeah, check, uh, well, yeah, you can get this anywhere, Amazon, Diabolic, whatever, um, but yeah, so, excited to check this out, compare the transfer to the, to the, uh, Shameless Entertainment release, see if it was worth upgrading. We shall see. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, I'll catch you pretty soon, got more stuff trickling in as always, so, so much for, uh, one video a week, right? Catch y'all soon, peace.